Hello guys, this is Bill Cable back with another Boom Beach video and today we're still using the Scorcher tanks but we're going to be taking down a task force base, so an operation base and really this is a task force I'm very inactive with. I really just use it to dump my intel with, I don't really do much attacks at all. Um, I do an odd attack now and again if you guys have a look at this is the task force I'm in I might actually create my own just let me know in the comment section Do you guys think I should create my own task force to get you guys in it? Um, and you know be a little bit more active. This is the one we've got here um, uh, So basically I'm here at the moment and I am obviously kind of inactive I am actually second on the leaderboards, but that's okay. We're gonna be taking down one of these bases just now. You don't really see many operation attacks on this channel, and I'm actually quite interested to see if you guys want to see more. I might get myself in a competitive task force to see what we can do. Um, obviously, this is not a really viable attack strategy for um, operations, but we'll just do what we can anyway. Um, I think we'll probably just go and start clearing out some of um, we need some medics to be perfectly honest with you, but we'll see what we can do. We'll probably take down some of these shield gens and after that, this is actually a super easy base for all Zookas anyway, but we'll give this a go. Um, that one looks pretty good or this one here looks very good. In fact, we'll just work our way around the right hand side of this one. We'll work our way around the right hand side of this. If we, we'll do what we can. We'll come in here, all troops down. Flare over to this corner. We're gonna get a couple of shots. I really don't wanna lose my hero. So I'm just gonna place one smoke, just in case. We really don't wanna lose her. And once we're up here, we'll flare up here. And really that's really it at this point. And um, we've got a couple of mortars coming in. We've got no GBE left, so hopefully these two shock launchers don't cause too much of a problem to us. Um, if they do, this might cause us to lose a couple of troops, but if the, these scorchers start spreading out, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, that's Everspark at the back there doing our job. Uh, we really need to get take care of these shock launchers to be honest with you guys. I should have flared it up way to the corner. Um, as you guys can see the experience with attacking operation bases is just not good in my part but I'm going to be trying to get a lot better at them. I'm quite a fast learner at this game anyway. So um, it's quite good we've got ourselves at the front here. Still waiting out. We might get a crucial shock in now just to stop these uh, shock launchers coming in. We could lay a couple of... There's a boom cannon there which is a problem but that's not too bad right now. Uh, we could... We're going to shock the boom cannons right now just in case we lose any more scorchers. We've got a couple of tanks attacking the right hand side um, of this here. Um, could do with laying a couple of a couple of critter boxes up here just to distract um, the boom cannons and the scorchers up the top. Should be good. Right, we're going to reflare into here at this point because some of our scorchers are straying a little bit too far away from where we want to be. Um, should have fl I made the same mistake again. I should flare a wee bit of a distance away because it means that there's two shock launchers can take advantage of that. And plus I should have laid the critters in the middle between both of them so there could have been at least some. But we've cleared a lot of this base out. We've, we could have did a, a lot more. In fact, this is one of the worst attacks that I've did on an operation attack in a while. To be honest, it wasn't even the best troop combo to use. But um, we're going to be switching the troops up anyway um, for the next attack. So I did my job. It was pretty bad in my opinion. I didn't even finish that rocket launcher out. This can get finished in one more. A good Zuka attack can actually finish that base off. But um, we'll go with what troop combo do we feel like going with today? Warriors? Let's go with warriors. We're feeling a warrior attack today. Um, we've got ourselves... Power Stone Chance, do not want that. We'll put ourselves on a Guardian and we're going to be using the 
Sergeant Breck today um, for the Warrior Attack. So we'll be doing a real player base to see if we can take this down. So um, here we go. Right. If we go in from here, let's have a look at this attack here. Um, round about here, smoke, we'll flare to this. Flare into the base. We'll fl no, flare in here, and then we'll flare to the base. It's going to take. A sh we want to do a shock here. Shock bang there. Uh, shock bang there. And a one shock bang there. So it's going to take three shocks. We'll see what we can do. We don't really need to. We only really need to clear. I'm just going to do one box of critters on the base just to clear the boom mines round about. So that's fine. And then we're going to single smoke um, on to that. So we just go here. All the troops out. Get a flare ready onto the base. Flare up now. Smoke. 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 We lost our hero. Oh my goodness. A little bit too slow in that one there. So that's a problem but you know, whatever we can do, we'll just med kit them up, get our shocks ready. So we're going to go shock, 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 and then get some critters out. And that's going to destroy the base down anyway. So there we go. That's exactly what we wanted to do, but we're just a little bit uh, delayed with that brick placement. In fact, I should really be practicing with brick. The only troop combo I use and I'm pretty good with is the tank medics. That's like my bread and butter of like Boom Beach. I just love that so much. But um, 24 diamonds and we'll claim the shards. Let's go here to another. This is, this is an NPC base. We don't want an NPC base. We want real player bases. So I'll have a look at a real player base just now. Where is a real player base? Right, here we go. A 61. Let's attack. Right. It's a long distance base. Looks pretty good. Solid landing zone here. We're going to be... Crittering the base. Ooh, a single smoke here. Another smoke. And onto the base. Here we go. Oh, we need to lay it on. Oh, no, we've got a troop. Oh, no. Oh, oh, goodness, guys. I've actually popped the ability. Did not mean that. That's, that's crucial, guys. I selected the hero troop to place it down, but I actually used the ability instead. Oh, this is not good. We've wasted GBE. We've wasted time. We're going to be shocking here, here, and just use critters for the rest. We don't need to do any more. So, yeah, that actually went pretty well. But as you guys seen there, we, we did wreck that base quite hard. But that was a really lucky attack for us because we could have got seriously punished there. We'll do another real player base. It's a 55. This time the goal is just to keep the hero troop alive. So um, we're going to be... We'll play one box of critters here just to clear the mines away. Oh no. There's an art... We're retreating. We did not even hit that. The reason I use critters, guys, if you guys are wondering, is if I use barrages, especially on the defenses at the front, um, I really, nine times out of ten, I actually end up destroying it, and it means I can't smoke anywhere. So here we go. That's a perfect one. So what we wanted, we're going to go smoke, smoke, all the troops out, flare onto here, and we'll while we're ready, we'll flare up here now. Smoke. We're gonna get another smoke there. Then double smoke because we want to keep our hero troop alive. Hopefully, yes. Yeah, she. I think she'll just be in this smoke here. If she isn't, this is gonna be a disaster. Oh, she isn't. There we go. Just what I said. And I've zoomed too far in. I'm on a PC, so it's quite hard to. Maneuver and I missed the Doom Cannon. I missed everything. That was an awful attack, guys. That was absolutely disgusting. Oh, we're getting really lucky. We're getting super duper lucky with these bases. That was a two ice statue base, but considering we're such max, this is so close to max. Um it should be Whoa, here's a level 21. A level 21 resource base. Oh, look at this guys! A 21 resource base. 
can we take a base down with just in fact i'm just going to leave this because i want to do that as a video i want to do can we take down a resource base with just a hero troop um right a 63 we've got troops down here as well we're actually down a couple of troops so this is going to be a little bit harder we're going to artillery this here all the troops down we're going to get the smoke away now smoke here flare to the base looking okay we could we'll go up now we might lose a couple of troops on the way up we're going to quickly get a critter box on there didn't realize there was the boom doom mines there sorry smoke uh, med kit sorry and um, we've got that in there. We're going to be boosting this up. Shock, shock, shock. We're going to take this down, but that's another really messy attack. We're getting really lucky, really, really lucky with these attacks, guys. But you guys can see, if you guys just do a decent warrior attack, this guy's got a couple of, well, only one ice statue, but you could really rip through mostly every single base with these these troop combos so if you guys ever see a warrior mania it is really almost like kind of like a gold mine in terms of like you can get so much resources and um, for these troop manias and you really need to take advantage especially ones like warriors and um, you can take down so many bases it's, the only time i can ever see warriors being a problem is at very high level with high level boosted bases probably around about the um victory points of around about over a thousand it might get a little bit hard for you guys but Anyway, hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more Boom Beach videos. We just hit 10k. Hopefully got a special uh, announcement coming up pretty soon for you guys for that 10k. But anyway, hope you guys really enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.